Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this week's vlog on this wonderful sunny Saturday. Oh my gosh, it's Chloe. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to be in the vlog opening, Chloe? There, no, wave. Wave. Um, I'm at uh, Justine's and today I'm taking Ember for his first ever show jumping competition. Yay! Um, so Justine has literally just been out for a lovely hack, I believe, with Chloe. It's Justine there. So basically I've been getting everything ready because Justine's been gallivanting with Chloe. So I've just been starting to sort things out. Um, Ember's just finishing his breakfast. I've got things in the lorry. And yeah, the last thing I need to do is clean my tack. But I have a solution, a very good solution. I'm going to share that solution with you right now. Here she is. Here I am. <laughs> Did you have, yeah. a nice, you have a nice hat? Yeah. Don't you get me wet? Justin, I'm in my, I'm in my show gear now. Oh, oh. Um, Hello, Mazette. I'm, I'm running to time. Are you running to time? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've got things in the lorry. I'm about to clean my saddle since it's over there. And you don't want a quick shower. No, I'm fine. Sure, you don't want a quick shower? No, no, I'm okay. all good. Perfect. Well He's a very good boy. Yay, well done. Did you jump some Christmas trees too, Mazette? Manny. Manny. Oh, yeah, Manny. Manny. nickname. Yeah, okay. Justine put a post on her Instagram yesterday of saying that Holy is like Manny the woolly mammoth yeah. from Ice, Ice Age. And I'll, put, I'll see if you can see this, guys. Can you see? There's an angle that you Look, have you've to got get. To do it from you have to get from like there. here. Who looks like Manny? <laughs> oh, it's bad sunlight. I've got a new solution to cleaning my tack. I might actually share it with you. Fantastic. Yeah. What is the solution? Well, I'll show you. Okay. So, guys, Justine's very fascinated to find out what my tack cleaning solution is. And it is. Dun dun dun. These, they're tack cleaner mitts. Fantastic. So, they're like gloves. Oh. And you put them on. Yeah. And then you can, it's, and they're, they're easy to use, effective single use mitt, removes grease, dirt, and sweat, and they're 100% biodegradable. So very sustainable. So hang on. Let me, let, me let me let me test. I think yeah. I think it has to be on the horse. Oh. Though. I can do it on your rein. Hang on. Okay. So I've just taken out the packet, and Justine's going to um, demonstrate it for me. <laughs> so you put it on like a glove. Like that. Yeah, but it, there we go. Does that does that work? Yeah. Exactly that. Yeah, look at that. Andy. Oh, you've lost your horse. <laughs> Let me get back. <laughs> He's gonna go and see his. Hang on. Come back. Got you. You can keep cleaning if you want. <laughs> so the ease of these wipes, guys, means that your trainer can clean your saddle for you. Oh my god. It is filthy. It is filthy. See, but I reckon you could get a good use out of um, one mitt. Yeah. Because then you can flip it round as well. Yeah. And use the other side. Absolutely. And you, that's exactly what I'm going to do my boots as well. Where are you going? Okay. He says I'm going now, Mum. What do you What do you rate them? Out of ten. Out of ten for my boots. Eleven. Eleven. Well, there you go, guys. That is a That is a Justin Ward product review right there. Cardo Martin. There's ten in there. Ten. ten. And I reckon, so that's ten times that you can clean your tack. Well, that's ten times too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived. We were quite early, actually, which I'm surprised at. So, oh, that's my car, that's but I got car. you. <laughs> oh. Oh. So today I'm doing the 70 and the 80 centimetres, and Justine's just going to have a pop round the 90. Better win it. I don't think so. No pressure. Um, no, so the aim for me today is just to, well, it's his first, first show jumping, so just give him all the positive, fun experience that he's going to have, obviously. Well, it's winning a rosette. And win a rosette. <laughs> Gotta beat these kids. <laughs> and action. <laughs> I've been expecting you. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> Who were you meant to be? Money Penny or the James Bond? It's like a Jilly Cooper novel. <laughs> oh 
Super chilled. Good boy. Sorry, I was Gone. It's a bit twisty and turny, so Justin was like, How can a course be so complicated? If you go wrong, you have to earn Christmas pudding. Yes, yeah, she's, she's got a Christmas pudding in the lorry. She says, If I go, yeah, if I go wrong, I have to wear it, so there's no pressure. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna pop back on. Hi, Ali, gonna Hi. wave to the vlog. I really didn't want to be in your vlog. Yeah, you do. <laughs> LK, LKF Sport Horses on Instagram, guys, go follow. Um, right, yeah, I'm gonna get on. Right, here we go, everybody. First 70 centimetre round ever for Ember, and he comes in, and I struggled actually before this to get my right canter before. Um, so fence one and two, as you can see, is very keen. Um, but he's such a clever boy. He does his own changes, <laughs> which is very nice. Needs actually little input from me. He knows when he's balanced, which is really good. Fence three, little bit deep into that one but he's very clever with his feet and just got out of the way and you've got this turn to four which he jumped very nicely and this was a nice even stride down to this one number five and number six here now at this point I'm feeling he's very he's not looking at anything he's listening to me he was a little bit nappy towards the gate not majorly but I just had to give a little bit more encouragement with my leg and he listened which was great now, ideally, after fence seven, I would have got him back to me a bit more. As you can see, he's just got his head up. And when he gets his head up, it means he can just kind of fire and go as fast as he wants. Um, so that is something that I need to work on for the next round. So there's only two fences to go. So you're swinging back round to number 10, which is the orange oxer. And again, could just work on getting him a little bit back to me. Um, but we had a really good shot to that one. This turn here was a bit nasty to number 11, not that you can see, I think the sun was in Justine's eyes. And then it was a nice three strides down to this. However, I let him get just a little bit long and actually you can hear I say good boy before I actually get over the fence, which probably distracted him somewhat. So we just had it down sadly. Good boy. That's so good. I got a bit keen to the end. You said good boy before you jumped it. I know. <laughs> so where did you come, Lucy? Well, I came a quite purply sick. Pur purply sick, and that was all, all my fault, Justine. And why was it your fault? Because I said good boy before I jumped the last fence. Yes, yes. <laughs>
concentrating. <laughs> good boy. He was a good boy. Well done. And now we have his first 80 centimetres and took an absolute flyer at the first. Um, I lost my reins a bit. I didn't have any gloves on, no self wear gloves. And he lost his shoulder through to the second, which meant we had it down. But that was, I would say, my fault. Um, but good on him for jumping it anyway. As you can see, he's very onward bound here. He knows what he's doing now. He's done this course once before. And I think he thinks that he knows what he's doing, which I guess, I guess he kind of does. Um, so really onwards for his stride, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't really alter his pace, but it doesn't matter because he was in a rhythm. I just had to think, actually, no, I know you know what you're doing, but it needs to be under my terms because what I don't want him to start doing is rushing because when you rush, you have the poles and it takes me, I think, a couple more fences until I actually get him jumping the way that I want him to. I think that was unlucky, that one, because I had a good shot to that fence. Um, and now I think, whoa, and I'm thinking, whoa, and as you can see, he just kind of settles into a better canter, um, more approachable for a fence. Now, where are we going here? Oh yeah, number nine, lovely here. Now, I think the second half of the course was the best, and I think I'd learned from the first half, and I knew what I was doing, and I knew that how he should feel. So you can see here, he's just fighting me a little bit, but I just say, no, come on, just concentrate. And again, really nice. We've got two fences to go. This naughty turn here. Saw that stride. One, two, three. Oof. And we kept it up. It's great. I know what I'm doing now. You rode a good round because the, the second half you rode yeah, better. Yeah, no, and you sort of said to him, yeah. come on, listen. Well, that's the thing. He's, and you took your time and yeah. he actually jumped better. Yeah, he's, the, the second bit was perfect. Yeah. Um, but you have to learn. You've got to yeah. make these mistakes. I think he was to. probably always going to go in there because he was so not bothered and be yeah. a bit keen. Yeah. And then after about fence three, four, you said, OK, come on, yeah. slow down a bit. Yeah. And then he jumped a nice round. Yeah. Here's his leaps in between. Did you see? Yeah. yeah he's a good boy. No, that was really good. I'm really happy. No, that was good. Right. Now it's Justine's turn. She's having a pot round the 90s. They're in the warm up. We've got Justine Ward. Oh, approaching now. Billy Brody. Lovely over that cross. <laughs> help to sit up. Yeah, sit up. Sit up, up, up. Tits and tea. There you go. Up and over your fence. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Any last words, Justin? Any last thoughts, final thoughts? Um, what's, what's it called when you... Yeah. You lost bites and testaments or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, my, my last meal I'd like. Yeah. To have. What would you like? Oh. 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 Steak tartar. Steak tartar. Yeah. <laughs> An interesting Other one. Other than that, I'll see you on the other side. Okay. <laughs> And now in the arena we have Justine Ward riding Billy Brody. Now obviously normally I wouldn't commentate on my trainer's round, but I thought, well, she's in my vlog, so why not? Now this here, I'm actually commentating to cover up my swear words. Hope you don't hear them. Basically Brody took a dislike to the fences down at the bottom of the arena and Justine actually nearly took a tumble before she'd started. Um, but I think... <laughs> he was not too sure. There's like arena event and fences. Anyway, she got him back really nicely. And um, here he goes. Now, yeah, I can't really say too much because I don't know what Justine was feeling here. But I'm doing good going to do it for an outside opinion. So it's worth noting that Brody is a five-year-old and he's done a few competitions before. Um, and I think Justine is planning on possibly eventing him maybe uh sorry justine if that's wrong but i'm pretty sure you are um right i love this fence coming up here watch how he jumps this one everyone holy moly 
Look at that. I had to slow mo that. Look at that back end. Absolutely flies it. Brody, this is only 90, it's not 120. Um, so I think it's clear to see that he's well up for it. Now it's worth also noting that Justine is in a new bit. She hasn't jumped him in this bit before. Um, it's one of the flexi bar, straight bar snaffles, uh, which I've used in my previous vlogs, if you're interested. Um, that was very nice, Justine. Well done. Hopefully. I, to me, see, personally, I think it looks like Brady's in a good rhythm. But, oh no, what are you doing? <laughs> now, um, sadly, I think Justine incurred four faults there for turning towards the wrong fence and having to make a circle, which I'm sure she's kicking herself about. But really nice to number nine. You can see her looking for number 10. Now, it's really good watching Justine ride because it's, you know, it, you can learn from watching not only my filmed rounds, but hers as well. So, um, that's nice. One, two, three. Boom. Oh, well done. done. Well done, Brady. That was very good. Okay, you so good. Well done. You're the Christmas pudding now, though, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying, Lucy, it's such a simple course. How can you find that confusing? I was so busy thinking, I thought, oh, nice turn, and I was heading for it. I was like, oh, shit, that's number seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh dear, he jumps so well, though. Huge over some of them. Yeah, You're, huge over yeah. some of them, and he was a bit, a little bit not in a rhythm. Mm. So, a little bit. He was down to seven, though. Down to seven, it was really nice. Yes. Yeah, no, it was. And yeah. a lot of the other times as well. Yeah, there's some nice ones. Yeah. Just, just didn't feel like it flowed as much as it could have done. Well... But that's the first time in this bit. There we go. And he's not been out for a while. And you did nearly fall off at the beginning. And I did nearly <laughs> fall off at the beginning. <laughs> I don't think I got it on camera. The job, these jumpers are stretching, oh otherwise I'd have been ripping them. <laughs> did he spook at the fences? He sp the spoke. Sp spoke. Spooked at the ones in the corner. Yeah, that's what up. Amber looked at, but it didn't do quite such an elaborate. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it was, was fabulous. Good, yeah. And look, dun dun dun. Okay, second. 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 Beat me, damn it. Should have got first. Should have got. You would have got first as well if you didn't turn that. If you didn't turn the wrong way. <laughs> no, you little good boy having some hay in the lorry. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Right, so we're just going to untack Brody and uh, get on the road and go home. It's only a short drive, so we'll be back for a late lunch, I think, Justin. We deserve a maybe a, maybe a nice gin or an later breakfast. Yeah, or an even later breakfast. There we go. But you're a superstar, aren't you? Yeah. Just made our obligatory snack stop on the way back because we're starved. So I've gone for a go veggie. Was that spiced chickpea crush? Vitamin D enriched seeded bread. Spiced um, chickpea crush sounds like that's sawdust. Sawdust. <laughs> the sun is just terrible. And what have you gone for? I've gone for chicken wrap. A chicken. There you go. Chicken wrap. And you've gone for controversial cheese onion crisps. Wherever I've gone for. Salt and vinegar. So guys, what team are you on? Comment below. Salt and vinegar. Team salt and vinegar or team cheese and onion? You can't call cheese and onion controversial. <laughs> it's controversial. <laughs> it is controversial. Is it? It's stinky. <laughs> well, it might be that. <laughs> Slightly alarming. I've lost my lorry keys. <sighs> Done. Finished for the day. First, Lovely day. First ever show jumping. Tick. Yeah, it's a good boy. Now he's enjoying some grub. Yeah. With all his mates over there. Um, so, I would say, a little rundown of the day. First round. Lovely. First round, good. I just got a bit ahead of myself to the last fence. Yeah, so you, I think you'd, you'd finished mentally in your head before yeah. you jumped the last one. <laughs> then that's totally... I would have won, actually, I think. Yeah, you would have done. I would, anyway. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We will live and learn, live and learn. Uh, the next round, I think the... The planning to before the first fence, so getting my canter, I wasn't very tactical on that. No, you got the wrong canter and you just kept going and trying asking rather than doing a I circle. I didn't do a circle. Time. I should have done a circle. And, and then, then you've got a better And canter. then I started the round, it was a bit. 
He was he was a bit. I think he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Because you didn't have the right canter. No. So, so he jumped the first fence, and then he you lost his shoulder a bit. So yeah. So you were coming crooked to the second. Yeah. And he had the second down. Yeah. Um, and then the next one he jumped all right, but then you had the next number four down and then actually after that you then rode him a bit more together got my head gave yourself some really lovely turns and circles yeah. and the last half of the round was lovely well i think i actually relaxed more into it as well yeah because i was a bit ooh at first and then i just thought no actually he's jumping yeah and he's enjoying it so yeah. it's relaxed and then i did and he was great it was a nice second part yeah it was very good and i had a sh i had a shot to the last as well, it did instead yeah. of i didn't yes before, you rode so. it properly and then justine went in and um and then yeah, as you saw, had a went bit the of a, wrong way. Went, went the wrong way. Had a little bit of a shocker. But yeah, well, happens to the best happen of very us. often. <laughs> but I talked that one up because Lucy said she was going to go wrong, and I said, "Oh, they can't do that. It's really easy." <sighs> well, there we go. Yeah, we live, live as I say, all learning fun. This he thing jumped good. well. Yeah, he jumped fantastically. That was the good thing about these shows is there's literally no pressure. It was such, such a nice, quiet day. It was, and nice. you can just go out and all, yeah, all learning. Yeah, so. Justine's off skiing, actually. Yeah. Uh, this week, Monday. Monday, Monday. Today, she'll be off skiing. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're going to have a, a week of just doing some flat work and stuff. You know, practicing our counter transitions. Yeah. So they're going to be amazing. Yeah, they'll be back. fantastic when you get back. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this this vlog and enjoyed watching Amber. In his element, I think. He really enjoyed it. He was. He um, was a really good boy. And so if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a like, leave a comment, say well done, say well done to Justin for yeah, a second. Going wrong. I keep laughing. No, you did well apart from that. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to keep on following our journey. So, God, this road is loud, isn't it? Very. Anyway, right. I'll see you guys soon. Say bye. Bye. Bye.